I remember what was saying about the uh, Barton Triangle. You don't, you don't need this line here. So once you've established your triangle, I take the line away. But what you can use your line for is, especially if it's an alignment stick, as you can see how I can stand in here in the triangle, and I can line myself up, I drop my shoulders in here, onto that line there of the triangle, and I warm up by rocking, rocking the line down. Line here, you're rocking down. It's a good way of warming up. This is why when you're out in the golf course, it's easy to use this because you're setting up. Coming in, coming in here, going round, checking the shaft alignment, and you always warm up like this. And you'll find that the swing tempo on it and nice and easy, nice and loose, no tension, bargain grip, hands on the club, pretty usual bees pointing, and nothing's you know different on this. You can get your waggle uh, to keep yourself loose. Then when you're moving in here, you check the shoulder alignment on the white line. Uh, who have you seen do that most of the time? Oh, Norman, eh? Right, so once you've warmed up like that, you're still using the, the triangle. Step in and uh, just hit a few. You'll see the ball comes out the middle of the club all the time. Now it's up to you where you stand in this triangle, as long as you can see it, you can move forward or backwards on it. When you're in position here, checking your shoulder line, everyone's set on that line now, and all I know is that I just need to rock on that line. And rock through. And the rest of it, Unlike the description that I used uh, in the piece of paper and showing you all the angles and how it all works, when you're actually swinging and you're using it, you're just swinging down this line here with your shoulders. So when I'm here, and I'm here and I'm checking, I've got myself pulled, then you can see here, this is where I'm going, I'm going down that line and I'm going down that line. But because your body's swinging you open, when you get to the drop point of your swing, you're coming through on the railway line, straight to target. You're also hitting everything right out the middle of the club, all the time. Once you've established this, I'll show you how you do it without the line there. So if you, you know you were on the golf course. But every shot you come in, you're looking at the target as normal. And you pull your shoulders around to this position here. This hand in here, so you know the shoulders are in the right position. You don't move them from there. You just swing down the line. And that's how you can do that on the golf course. And move yourself around because you find this line by, I'll do it this way, so if I'm on the golf course and I'm setting up for the target, coming in here, I'm coming in here and I'm going like that. Now I immediately know this club now is pointing on the bottom railway track and my shoulders are now pointing on that 
line that you want, the line of joy where you can drop your shoulders in. And then from there, it's a simple case of keeping them there, making sure your shaft's on line, move the club back in behind the ball. Then from there, you're swinging on that golden line, which is down and down through. And that's how it works. That is the major short version of the 22 minutes. Every single club's the same setup procedure. Uh, you can start to get very, very acutely cute with this. What do I mean by that? Oh, I'm going to show you something. If I can get this out without knocking this camera out of position, let's hope so, so I can do it in one take. Otherwise, I'll have to reset the camera. You don't need the line on the post for That's how cute you can get with this. Now, not only can you do shots like that, you can also do forget my ad block here. That's a lob wedge, but you can also do shots that <clears throat> used to be difficult, which are like finesse shots for any club in your bag. Quarter shots, half shots, very little effort, all out the middle, and all controlled by using these three rules, which we've shown you how to do. You just repeat them with every club. The distance you want the ball to go, how far you rip down the handle. If you come in, drop in here, square it, pull it around. Drop the shoulders and swing. You're set. For every club in the bag. Now, what's even more exciting about this is if you have a set distance, that's probably. Uh, for me, it's a nice wedge, but I could hit every single ball here with all those clubs and I would put on that green because I can do a controlled um, swing, which I couldn't do guaranteed. So basically, I'm down the shaft a little, I'm checking that alignment there, I'm checking my shoulders, so I'll leave them there. It's absolutely the best thing about the swing that Varden left us is the absolute playability and scoring ability with this golf swing. 
saw it there with lob shots. I'll try and I'll try and get a longer clip here. I was actually hitting in five irons. Sorry, camera move. Sitting in five irons before it's the same thing with a five iron. Any club in your bag, just check there, drop into the triangle, check that the shaft's on line, leave the shoulders in place, come in. Knock down shots into the wind. Everything you need to play on a golf course in tough conditions, you can use using the Barb and triangle. I'll show you that down the line. So you're going down the shaft, you're rocking at this position here, checking the shoulder alignment is on that the path, move your club back to the ball, and then you rock, rock. When I say rock, rock, you're following the line, the white line of the in to out path, or as someone rightly called it, the magical 430, which is a great way of thinking about it. And you're following it with this shoulder and this shoulder. Sure, this will move that way slightly, but that's the magic that happens. You don't need to worry about it, because it all falls into place, which is very clever. Stay there, check it there. Make sure your face is always pointing down. And uh, the reason I'm saying that is all to do with Mike Costin, Henry Cotton as well. They did not believe in this halfway back position, which Nick Faldo and a few others believed in in the mid 80s. They believed in a halfway back position of that club face shut or square. It's actually square, it's not shut. So I think that's enough for uh, wab it on. Uh, I'll try and get some just shots of me uh, hitting uh, shots. And I'll, I'll hit a few like with this five iron without the line and I'll show you how you can achieve it once you're out in the course. You're setting up like this. You're moving in here. Move your shoulders around. Move in. Tad heavy. But it's the same thing for every shot. So this is all like literally like 10 swings in so I'm not really that worried about it. Ten swings in hardly warmed up or anything. Right, so from here. makes everything so flowing and uh, natural and that's what I wanted to really highlight to you. Got to highlight this because most people struggle with their short game where all sorts of magical wonderful things can happen where you tense up and this happens that happens. So I'll show you the, the standard way of short game. Come in, check your nap that there. You get any flight you want contact wise is really good. High, low, then you can go for the lob shots, bear in mind that it's just like hitting off the concrete. Exactly the same. Open the face. Check the alignment, tweak it, move it around, do not move the shoulder. You hit 
kind of its highest one, that was going to be hitting the ceiling with hardly any effort. 20, 30 yards, 50 yards. Brings back field, control, everything you need to score on a golf course. And it minimizes what you're thinking about. You're just thinking about that setup, which for a short shot is still the same. Look, my feet are closer together. My hands are in here. I tweak my shoulders. I don't move them. Keep my hands ahead. Perfect net chip. Right off, no divot, nothing. Was Mo swinging like this? Pretty much. Very close to this, yeah. And I'm pretty sure the more you experiment and find the triangle yourself, the more you'll find you can hit shots without taking divot. Find it more on the golf course than you have before as well. So, uh, try showing you one from a different angle down the way. And I'm, I'm going to hit a nine here, which is far too much for. But what I'm going to do is just finesse one down. Just well, I'll cut, cut it back. So I'm going to go in here, come in around, take my club down the line, and don't move it. Absolutely bullet straight by, spinning back to. Just missed the hole. And I've just hit that nine iron in low, as if it was windy. Like I say, the full shot's probably a three quarter wedge. And that was the nine iron, okay? Right, let's do the same shot with five iron, I'll show you. That's same shot, same distance, same green, five miles. I'm going to go down the shaft, drop in, take my clubs on line. Wee bit long, but straight on the green, but under the trees with a five iron. That is how quickly you can start feeling shots when they're doing this. Mm. Show you back to the full swing, show you back to normal. Remember the line would be here, like that. That's how it's easy to imagine because you can see a line from there to there, giving you a triangle. Drop it in, hands touching, bring your club in. Don't move your shoulder, drop them. Right, I'm not keeping it too long. I think I've probably tried to keep this short, but it's probably gone long again. But it's so really like great to do, and all these shots going to the green. Being able to shape high, low, medium, all of them going straight. It's going to change the way you play golf. Uh, thanks for watching the first two videos. This is the third one, hopefully shorter than the 22 minutes. But now hopefully the 22 minute video makes more sense of what you're benefiting doing this. Um, Harry Varden, 1900 to 1911, 1914, when he was on his open, US Open streak. One of his best kept secrets, the Varden Triangle. And of course, he pioneered the interlock grip. Um, one of the greatest players to play the game. So I hope you've enjoyed this, um, Cooper Osborne Golf, he uh, talks about the Varden Triangle a lot, he's got quite a few videos on it, and I've told you about Cooper Osborne Golf from the day dot to sub that guy.
because he knows what he's talking about, he's an absolute genius. And there's a lot of stuff he talks about, the Fibonacci spiral, which is again a great thing to have in your bag. And uh, it's a great thing to have people on a community like YouTube who all think the same way about golf and how over the years, hundreds of years, handicaps haven't gone lower, they've gone higher. Equipment's got better. So the understanding and mechanics are what's knackering golf up. The Varden Triangle makes it almost automatic, natural golf, if it's what you want, especially under pressure. It doesn't crack under pressure. It keeps going. 63 proves that. Right, thanks for watching. Bendy thumb love. Subs very appreciated. The channel's all for charity. Keeps saying this. I'll leave it to the end, but it's helping charities. All the ad revenue goes to charity. Doesn't go to me. Samaritans, Red Cross, Macmillan Cancer, Shelter, to name but a few.